Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to Tesla Stock News. My name is James Barber. This is brought to you by Oregon Cash Flow Pro, helping you maximize your cash flow. So, uh, interesting times. Tesla back up yesterday after a brief dip down below 800 for a few days after their earnings announcement. Slightly disappointing earnings announcement, but a lot of good things to look forward to in the near future, including Giga Berlin. Now we had a nice uh, video come out, and I'm going to play that in the background here behind me. You can see these uh, shots of these drone shots of Giga Berlin. It looks like it's almost done. Amazing progress, and that's a huge building. But amazing progress over the last few months. It looks like we're going to start seeing some vehicles coming out of this place soon. I think the anticipated start of production is coming up in uh, early spring. So exciting times, exciting times. I thought this, uh, I thought this drone video was pretty awesome though. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Dave Nellig, missed you yesterday too. How you doing? <laughs> So, Giga Berlin looks on track. They still don't have all the final permits. Everything that they're building, well, a lot of the stuff they're still putting up is still pre-permit phase, but they're allowed to continue because they put down a very hefty bond. It was something like $600 million. $600 million bond, I think it was, that they ended up having to put down in order to fund the dismantling and cleanup in case they don't end up getting the proper permits. So that would be kind of nuts if they were if they did all this and didn't get the permits, but it is still a possibility. So boy look at the size of that thing. Just look at the size of those trucks and cars compared to uh, compared to the building there. That thing is massive. And Texas, Giga Texas, is going to be even bigger. <laughs> How cool is that? All right. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys. thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's gigantic. Gigantic. So, not a whole lot else to report. There was a couple of more price target increases. Oh, there was one other thing. Gary Black on Twitter. He said only 7 of 13 Tesla analysts with buy ratings have price targets above the current $830 price. That is highly unusual since clients will ask skeptically why they are recommending a stock where they, where they expect the price to go down. This should result in further price target increases over the next few weeks. So pretty interesting. Gary Black has, has been spot on with Tesla, including, and this was another one I was, I was planning on uh, sharing also. Uh, and I missed this when Gary had posted this last time because I was caught up in the whole uh, GameStop AMC surge. Um, but a few days ago, right after earnings, Gary posted, remember the three-day rule. And the three-day rule is uh, usually after a good company with strong fundamentals misses and offers weak guidance, you let the stock fall for three days and then buy it. Hopefully as Tesla IR gets around to large investors, the stock can rebound. The third day was Monday. And that was when we saw that big rebound. So, something that's good to know and... Uh, remember so now we all know about the three-day rule if a good stock with strong or a good company with strong fundamentals misses on earnings or and or offers weak guidance let the stock fall for three days and then buy it all right so that's it for tesla news this morning now go maximize your cash flow